Good day, student. My name is Oye Konlo Afemi, the biology teacher. The topic we want to consider this day is mammalian skin. Mammalian skin. The mammalian skin is one of the sense organs in the body and it forms a continuous layer of tissue which covers the whole body. Apart from bones and cartilage, the skin is described or identified as the toughest tissues in the body. It is an organ. Why it is an organ? It is an organ because it is composed of different tissues. In fact, the skin is the largest organ in the body. Having known this, let's take a look at the structure of the mammalian skin. The structure of the mammalian skin. The mammalian skin is made up of two main layers, the epidermis and the dermis. The epidermis is the outer layer of the skin. It consists of three layers, namely horny or conified layer, this layer is made up of flat, hard, dead, and scaly cells. This layer is impregnated with protein, keratin. Keratin makes the layer tough, flexible, and waterproof. Granular layer is the second layer of the epidemic. It is made up of living cells which progressively move up to replace the only layer after accumulation of keratin. The third layer is the mapigian layer. This layer is made up of actively dividing cells. It consists of a pigment called melanin, which gives the skin its color, as well as keratin responsible for the toughness and flexibility of the skin. It has many infoldings to form air follicles and sebaceous glands. The dermis is the second main layer. It lies beneath the epidermis. It is a layer of connective tissues. It contains blood capillaries, sweat glands, air follicles, sebaceous glands, sensory nerve endings, or tiny sensory receptors. Cattle are different depths and flat cells which line the bottom of the skin. Let's now take a look at the mammalian skin parts and their functions. The mammalian skin parts and their function. The first part of the skin we want to look at is the conified layer. It serves as protective coat for the body against mechanical injury, microbial invasion, and water loss. Two, granular layer. It replaces cells of the conifer layers after being worn out. Mapigian layer. It, pro pro it produces the pigment melanin, which absorbs ultraviolet rays. Sweat gland is secret sweat. Sweat dots. It serves as passage for sweat. Sweat pore, it serves as opening for sweat on the surface of the skin. Sebaceous gland, it produces or secretes oily, oily secretion called sebum, which lubricates the hair and makes the skin waterproof. We will break here, and when we come back, We'll continue from here. Welcome back. We want to continue from where we stopped. Now we want to look at the functions of the skin. We have considered um, the structure of the mammalian skin. We have equally looked at the mammalian skin parts and their functions. Now we want to look at the functions of the skin. The first function of the skin is the protection function. The skin protects the body against microorganism invasion, mechanical injury, protection from ultraviolet rays and water loss. Protection function. Number two, sensitivity, sensitivity function. 
The skin detects and responds to stimuli of heat, cold, touch, pressure, pain, and chemical. So the skin is sensitive to heat, to cold, to touch, to pressure, to pain, and chemicals. Three, excretory function. The skin excretes sweat, which contain water, salt, and urea. Number four, the skin helps in the production of vitamin D. That is, the skin manufactures vitamin D on exposure to sunlight. Number five, the skin helps in the production of milk. That is to say, the mammaria gland, mammary gland, found in male is a modification of the skin and it helps in the secretion of milk. Six, regulation of body temperature. The skin helps to keep the temperature of the body fairly constant. How? We want to look at it quickly. When the environment is cold, the skin undergoes what we call vasoconstriction. What is vasoconstriction? Vasoconstriction simply means the contraction of the blood vessels. When the blood vessel contracts, it will not enable the large amount of blood to flow to the surface of the skin. And that will prevent loss of heat to the environment through conduction, uh, convection, and radiation. Two, sweating. When the environment is cold, the sweat gland will become inactive. When they are inactive, they will produce very little amount of sweat. And that means little amount of sweat will be excreted from the body. And you know that when sweat is excreted from the body, heat is also excreted along with it. So, it will reduce the amount of heat loss to the environment. Three, increasing metabolic rates or activities. When the environment is cold, there will be increasing metabolic rates, such as shivering. Shivering is the mechanical contraction and relaxation of, of the muscles which bring about checking effect, and that generates it. Clapping of hands, running, moving about, all this will generate uh, heat. Four, raising of hair. Raising of hair. Erector muscle contracts, maybe making the air shaft stand erect. And this tap more air between the air and the skin, thereby reducing the heat loss by convention, conduction, and radiation. Five, behavioral changes. Mama's concern keep warm by staying in necks and holding in a ball to reduce surface areas to directly reduce heat loss. Human beings wear wooden clothes, jackets or clothes to conserve it. This is where we're going to stop for now. When we come back, we will continue. Let's have a break now. Welcome back. We want to look at when the environment is hot. When the environment is hot, how can the skin regulate the body temperature. It can regulate the body temperature by one, undergoing what we call vasodilation. What is vasodilation? Is the expansion of the blood vessels. When the blood vessels expand, what happens? Large or large amount or volume of blood will flow to the surface of the skin, thereby losing heat to the environment by radiation convention and conduction. Two, sweating. When the environment is hot, the sweat pore becomes active and produces large amount of sweat that flows out 
to the surface of the skin, that is to say, sweat, when it evaporates from the body, it goes out with the element of heat and thereby bringing cooling effect to the body. Three, decreasing metabolic rate or activities. Body slow down its activities when the environment is hot to reduce the metabolic activities. This reduces the heat released by metabolic activities or reaction. Four, lowering the lowering of air. Erector muscles relax here, causing air to lie flat on the skin surface. This force out most of the air trapped among the eggs and much heat is lost from the body, bringing the temperature back to normal. Behavioral changes. Because the environment is hot, animals tend to stay outside or stay in the shade. In case of human beings, human beings wear light clothes, which we allow air to penetrate them. Let's quickly look at um, caring for the skin. Caring for the skin. That is care of the mammalian skin. We can maintain a healthy skin by one, taking or eating balanced diets, two, bathing with soap and water at least once in a day to remove dirt. Three, use clean towel to dry body or avoid sharing towel. Four, use good creams to keep the skin moist. Five, avoid bleaching the skin or use of harmful chemicals. Six, wear clean or light or loose clothes to allow free air circulation. Seven, Avoid excessive exposure to sun rays. Eight, ensure regular exercises. Nine, cuts or wounds or sore on the skin should be cleansed with antiseptic. Ten, wearing shoes to prevent hookworm or jigger from affecting the skin. These are the various ways by which you can care for the skin. Let's quickly look at the questions now. Analysis of the questions that has been asked on skin shows that it is a question that comes out regularly. What are the questions, past questions that have been asked on this? Take your pen now and write these questions now. Question one, what is a sense organ? What is a sense organ? If you are asked such a question, you say a sense organ is an organ made up of a group of specialized cells which is able to receive or collect or perceive or detect stimulus and transmit this information of impulse to the nervous system. Another question that I've been asked is this. List four sense organs found in mammals. Sense organs found in mammals. Mammalian skin is one, eye is another, air, nose, tongue. These are the answers to those questions. Another question that I've been asked is this. Name the main sensory receptors found in the skin, stating the part of the skin where each is located. Neco 2001. Another question that I've been asked is this. What is a receptor? Give three examples. Another question that I've been asked is this. Make a little bit drawing of the vertical section through the human skin the function of any three labored part. That is NECO 2001. This is where we are going to, to stop. I want you to go through those past questions in your real time and work on them. Till we meet again. Stay safe. Bye for now.